Hey, Grove. Hey, come on with me. It's going to be a nice evening. Come on. Hey, good evening, Grove. A beautiful Wednesday evening here on campus. I'm in a really unique room. This is a newly designed room, and I want to be able to take a few moments with you tonight. We're going to go behind the scenes for a little while. We have had to learn so much in the last four to six months. First of all, let me commend you for learning with us and being patient with us as we're learning to grow together. You see, pre-COVID, pre-COVID-19, things were really running great. We had great attendance, we had great giving, uh, things were happening, and all I can say is to God be the glory. And then suddenly, without warning, things changed immediately, and everybody had to rethink, what do we do? What are we gonna do? And how are we gonna continue to carry out the mission and the great commission that God has given to us in our hearts. You see, we believe the Bible is clear that there's a thousand methods, there's a message that can't be compromised. And our church is gospel-centered, I hope. Our, our, our church is committed to getting the gospel out, but there's a lot of ways to do that. And so we've had to learn. I wanna say thank you, church, uh, in this uh, time for being faithful in attendance. You see, if we measure attendance in person as well as online, hey, we've gone up in attendance. That's, that's amazing, and to God be the glory. I've said very little about giving, but our giving has remained consistent, and some Sundays, it's been beyond anything we could have thought or imagined. And so we're, I'm not sure if we're up overall for the year, but in my mind, I think we are. And so we could ask Matthew that question, our financial officer, but as far as I can tell, when we look at our attendance and our giving and really the connection of our people, we're still doing very well. And to God be the glory for that. But the purpose for tonight is to be able to, like we said earlier, go behind the scenes and introduce you to a part of the Grove that wasn't four to six months ago, okay? Does that make sense? We weren't, this wasn't a part of it. We had uh, bits and pieces of it, but we've really had to pull together and determine how we're gonna get forward and go forward in this, uh, in this time of transition. We have a part of our team, part of our staff, they're called the Creative Worship Arts, and they have committed to learning. Now, when I say learning curve like this, that's what they've had to have, is a learning curve straight up, because none of these people were trained to do this kind of work other than just self-training or hard work behind the scenes, learning things that they felt might be important to us somewhere down the road. And suddenly it was extremely important. And we put these guys to the test. And I wanna say as pastor and a part of the team, they've passed the test with flying colors, but there is a lot going on behind the scenes that most people know nothing about. So that's why we're here tonight. I wanna take you behind the scenes, introduce you to some people that are getting the job done and being creative to get the job done. And we're learning as we go, and thank you for being patient. But I, I think you'll wanna take this few moments with us now. Let's just journey out into the sanctuary and then back to a couple of rooms that you've never been in before. And let's just see what these guys are having to learn firsthand in the last four to six months. So come on, let's take a little walk. Now, for those of you that are new to us, I'm headed to the sanctuary. We're on a main hallway here, come on. For those of you that hadn't been with us in about six months, this is what the sanctuary used to look like. Hey, it still looks the same, come on, here we go. 
I'm going to uh, introduce you to a young man now that has joined our team, has been instrumental in helping us accomplish this mission uh, through media. So, uh, you know, applause please at this point uh, for a young man named Patrick Monroe. What's up, Patrick? Thank you, Patrick. How you doing, hey, buddy? Too kind, sir. Patrick, tell us uh, how long you've been working on this camera here at the Grove. I've been using it here at the Grove. I've been running this camera for maybe six to eight months. This was the type of camera we learned in when I went to Emmanuel College. We learned uh, all the camera settings and all that stuff, and we can dive into that later. We have an apprenticeship program where we can teach you the settings, white balance, and all that. But what we're going to talk about a little bit today is our live feed and how we're transitioning from the reel to the web. So basically, coming in like a normal camera, and you have your SDI cable right here. The SDI cable jumps back to Mr. Woods back there. We're going to meet Mr. Woods in just a moment. He's in another section. He's a wizard on that keyboard we got right there. We, we don't have wizards. Not a wizard. I'm okay. kidding. He's a good guy, though. <laughs> kidding. Uh, that's basically it. If y'all want to learn more, to, seriously, hit us on the uh, apprenticeship. We, we haven't had this camera very long. Um, it's it, it's a new camera to it us, is. right? Brand new, brand yeah. new. Is it expensive? It is expensive. <laughs> Did you hear that, Grove? Super nice. It's expensive, but you know, because of your generosity, we're actually able to buy this thing. And so to God be the glory, we, it's uh, instrumental for us to be able to communicate from way up there uh, to get a good close-up shot. Yeah. And it does, it does fairly well, does it? It does really well. Now there's other cameras that are bigger and nicer and all that. We'd like one of those. We would. Yeah, we at would. some point, come on. Somebody that's out there want to do something good, help us out. This man's capable of, of running this and he's willing. He's willing, so this is fantastic. So I'm gonna take a moment now, we're gonna go up here in the booth and we're gonna meet Mr. Patrick and Mr. Ron. Okay, we're walking into the sound booth in the sanctuary and there's a lot of uh, big screens in here. Back in this closet, this is funny, I want you to see this back in this closet. Let's see, which one is it? It's a rack of stuff. I have no idea what that is for, but I'm sure it's some good stuff, but nevertheless. These two gentlemen carry uh, the weight and responsibility of keeping everything flowing in the service from back here and even to the room we're going to in a few moments. This is Mr. Patrick Wood. He's been with us on staff a long time. This is Mr. Ron and he is a gift from God because he doesn't charge us anything to work up here other than just maybe he gets rewards in heaven. Uh, he is definitely a servant uh, on our team and we're grateful to God for him. So Ron, thank you so much. Patrick, thank you. Blessings to you. So, hey Patrick, tell them a little bit about what goes on up here. Uh, up here, pretty much, we've got our booth computer that sends the lyrics out for the congregation in the worship center. It also sends a feed over to our production room for our live stream viewers. That's our live stream service. Um, we have our lighting console. Let me ask you one question. Yes, sir. We didn't have a production room two or three months ago, no. did we? We've now got a production room. We've got a production room. <laughs> it's official. I love it, man. Way to go. Okay. Uh, we have our lighting console here that works, of course, the house lighting. Uh, we've got several people who run that for us. Um, here is our main audio console that takes the service audio. Uh, we feed it. We mix it here for the house. And we also have a, under the microphone here, a feed of line going over to our production room that goes to another console over there and we can dive into that more when we check that room out. One of the things I think many people don't understand is how different it is being in the room and then trying to get it out to you on the internet. It's a challenge and yet our people are not willing to say it's too much. They're willing to say, all right, we're going to do the best we can. We understand quality and, and there's a lot of variables in quality. And it is our desire to have God honoring excellence in every aspect of what we do. But these guys have done and are doing a great, great job. Uh, Ron, tell us a little bit about what, what do you do back here, Ron? Uh, you run this, right? Sometimes I'll run that, but some, here lately I've been in the production room. Okay. And so when we go in So you're here, flexible. I'm flexible. That's team player right there. He's flexible. I'll, I'll go wherever you want me to go. Oh, that is even a greater team player right there. He's willing to do the job. Honest to God, uh, truly, there, there's no false humility in that statement. It's the truth. These people are willing to do whatever it takes. Right now, I'm looking at our dignified pastor's wife here, 
and she is actually holding a lamp over our heads to get lighting. And uh, Lisa, wave at the camera and say hi to them. Uh, this is a very dignified pastor's wife, but she's <laughs> willing to do whatever it takes to get the job done. Okay? So come on, we're going to go. I, I guess pretty much that's what we do up in here. Uh, and there's uh, like different camera people in different places, I guess, during for still shots. Mm -hmm. But now we're moving over to the production room, and this is this is the room that was not about two months ago. Now it is because we wanted to continue to do live stream and to do it with some semblance of quality. And trust me, we can always improve. And if we had better equipment and you know we had staff that were trained in this particular field, I'm sure we could probably improve. But we are doing the best we can with what we have. And so, uh, Grove, thank you for being patient with us. Hey, here, here we go. We're headed over to the production room. I think you're gonna find it interesting in here as well. Come on. All right, guys, come on. We're headed to the production room. So we're coming down the stairs uh, out into the hallway. And I thought while we were walking, I might introduce a few things to you. Over to my left here, probably you're right. I'm not sure what angle you're watching from. But this is our Connect Center. And in this center, we have uh, staff and we have uh, servant staff that will be here every Sunday morning. And they're willing to tell you about ministry opportunities and things that we're doing, things that are coming in the future. These guys, these guys are just great, great, great to communicate on behalf of the Grove and to help us. Over to my right, we have some offices there. Over to my left right here, we have a counseling room. It's really, really nice and really, it's a beautiful place. Now we have a lot going on in a small amount of space. So we're about to enter the production room. This is, I said earlier, a brand new room at the Grove, but it's making a difference out there on the airways. Okay, we're entering into the production room here. Come on in guys, everybody take your place. I'm going to uh, introduce you to the captain in here. Uh, this is Austin. He is uh, on staff as well at the Grove and he is coordinating most of the online work. So Austin, tell us a little bit about the production room. Uh, this is a new room, it seems like it's got all kinds of nice stuff yeah, in it. So absolutely. tell us a little bit about that. So basically everything you saw in the worship center um, is now sending through the ceiling basically into here. Um, our camera that you saw is sending into our switcher right here, um, which this actually we're only using for our one angle and you can see it on this uh, monitor here. But like, um, we have the opportunity to expand to eight cameras in the room. Um, and so how we, many cameras? We could, we could go up to eight with this switcher. How many cameras do we have? One. We have one <laughs> camera, <laughs> but we have the capacity to go to eight cameras. Right. Do I, do I hear anybody out there in the audience right now that would like to buy a camera uh, for our expansion. So rather than seeing me straight on, you could actually get some side views. That would be really nice. I, we're just waiting on you now, okay? All right, so go ahead, I'm well, sorry. No, 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 uh, it would basically just, it would really improve the experience of the live stream for your house and to give a real true Grove experience um, while you're not in the room, basically. Right. Um, and so from that, we're sending into here, um, which we can see here, and we'll be able to switch whenever we get more cameras and stuff like that. Um, and then it goes up here to Patrick, um, where Ron and him will switch out normally to do the broadcast mix. Um, you want to explain some of that? Yeah, absolutely. We've got another smaller condensed size console, just like in there in the sanctuary. Um, we're running that feed in here, so Ron or myself have an individual control going out to uh, social media, YouTube, wherever we send our stream to. We can control it completely separate than what we do in the worship center. So. We've also got some studio style monitors here so we can make sure we get the best effects and the best sound as we can to go out for our viewers watching the service at home. Let me, let me ask you a question. What is the big screen back there for? Right now we're using it to do some of our logic and our video and audio editing post after service. We do some right, videos a week. Logic and editing. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what either one of those are. I'm grateful to God we have people around us that are smarter than we are, okay? Yeah, so basically we're just, we went through Sunday, and this is actually from this past Sunday, um, and we tracked it all so that we could take it back, and we're actually working on being able to update our services that we did live, um, and just redub them with better audio and maybe cleaning up some of the places. 
Um, but that's why that there. And, and so from here, though, is where we have, uh, we use Restream to be able to send to Facebook and YouTube. Um, and that kind of completes our broadcast setup. Nice, so, nice, yeah. nice, And this is actually where we do all of our midweek video editing and all that kind of stuff as well. Grow, grow. Let, let's, give, let's give it a, a hand to these, these guys in here because they're making a difference for us. Otherwise, you, you'd have to be here. Uh, to be a part of our services and many of you are not able to we understand and many of you are in different places in the world and we're honored that we're able to share with you as well and so this room is a big time important room we can expand it certainly we can improve it but we have done the best we could with what we had uh, over the last four to six months so uh, we're going to uh, head back to the room that we started in I'm gonna conclude with one little thought and then we'll call it an evening. Thank you, Grove. Come on with us now. Let's head back to the last room. Okay, Grove, that concludes our uh, evening tour of our facilities uh, behind the scenes and uh, this group behind me, they keep it going. Pray for them. That's, that's really not a cliche. That's a, a sincere thought from my heart for this team. Pray for them and pray for us. God delights when we pray because it, it's our heart saying to him, we need you. We need the Lord. We need the Lord's help. Uh, everybody in this group would say, this is over our heads, but we're not afraid to rise up to the challenge. And these guys are all fighters and they have fought to learn and they are fighting to do this job and to do it well. And so I say thank you to all of you. And you know, if there's somebody out there and you're watching this video and God has blessed you financially and you wanna help us, I was talking to these guys before we came into this room. They were telling me about cameras and the cost of cameras. It's unbelievable. I'm just a country boy. I'm a plain, simple person. But when I listen to what some of these cameras cost and what people pay for in ministries to be able to do this work, I'm blown away. $100,000 is nothing. If they wanted to, I mean, you could do it, you could just drop it. $100,000, that blows my mind. And yet maybe two or three cameras and this little quality of this little, it just blows my mind. So regardless, if the Lord's blessed you and you wanna help, help us. But you know what? It's usually not one person. It's a whole pe it's a whole people that come together, do what they can, do a little extra, and see what God can produce. We have good accountability at the Grove. We don't make purchases without accountability. I have a great, great leadership team that oversees me. And when we get ready to buy a piece of equipment, we present it and they say, okay, that sounds like a great idea. Let's go for it. Looks like the funds are in place. Let's do it. So Let's do it, Grove. Let's continue to improve. Let's continue to grow. Let's don't make excuses on why we can't do something. Let's just do something for the glory of God. And, 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 and let's just see where this thing ends. I love you. Thanks for the evening. And God be with you.